Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a food haul video, what we bought from Ocado this week. Um, if you haven't been here before, my name's Ali, I'm a mum of four and we live by the sea in Wales. And I share parenting, home, recipes, cleaning, all things like this. And today I'm sharing our weekly food shop. Now we always shopped, well not always, but like we do shop in Ocado. Um, but we've shopped there more since lockdown just because we had a smart pass membership so we could get our food delivered from there relatively straightforward um and they always come up trumps they hardly ever substitute anything if it's out of stock it's out of stock um so they're really good like that with max only had have had like two substitutions so um it's just yeah it was certainty during lockdown and we could get Stuff from there and also they have a really great range of vegan foods um which is a lifesaver for us at the moment because i'm vegan the baby's vegan and the kids are veggie as well um so yeah i'm just going to share with you what we got from there we do shop from other places as well if you watch my other food hauls you'll see we normally shop in asda tesco i'm not fussy <laughs> um aldi literally i shop everywhere but yeah this is just today what we got from Ocado. So um, as an example for, you still can't really get everything you want. So something's out of stock. So I wanted jumbo oats and I could only get this massive bag of jumbo oats, uh, which is fine because we will use them when we've got the space to store them. But yeah, didn't want to buy a jumbo oats uh, bag that big, but that's what we got. So we've got jumbo oats, got Jackson's bread because this is one of the few soya free breads you can find. We're also soya free. Um, these essential white trays, white finger rolls. Again, these are soya free, which is amazing. Um, homemade pita breads. We tend to make pita breads with falafel or my husband, who's not vegetarian, puts chicken in his. Or we cut them into strips to dip with hummus. So we use loads of pita breads. Um, this is something I haven't bought before, but it's their white sourdough bread um because sourdough is supposed to be better for you isn't it and it is also so um soya free so i thought i would try that um we've got bagels my eldest daughter loves bagels and my middle daughter has now discovered a love for bagels and i also eat bagels so again we get through loads of bagels um finishing off the bread sort of stuff are these roti chapatis these are like really cheap and they are so delicious they take a couple of minutes to cook on the stove top and we have them alongside our curries. Again, you can chop them up and use them with dips and things like that. The baby also really likes those. Um, also over here, we've got some desiccated coconuts and some red lentils. Um, I use these desiccated coconuts a lot in flapjacks and things like that, and lentils. I try and put into spaghetti bolognese and curries and anything I can, really. Then over here, we've got some bananas. Um, I've got chocolate rice cake. I buy these for the baby and I because they're vegan. I've also got some Bourneville chocolate because that's vegan. And then back down to the front, I've got red kidney beans in chili sauce. I've got a couple of tins of those. Um, they're really good for making a chili con carne. I also got a tin of green lentils. I always put green lentils in my chili just to up the protein. Got some vanilla extract. I haven't tried this brand before, but vanilla seems to be one of those things you can't get hold of at the moment. And it's really, really expensive. So I think this little bottle was like five pounds, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I cook, I bake a lot, so we do use that. I bought two of these jars of pesto. This is a red free from pesto. The kids absolutely love this, but it's free from loads of things. So, and it's really delicious. These are for my eldest daughter. They're not vegan, but um, they're dairy free and gluten free. So um, yeah, they've got egg in, but she likes those. I have got some tahini because I found at the moment we're getting through loads and loads of hummus. So I'm going to start trying to make some. So yeah, I got some of that. Also got some hummus. But yeah, because um, normally I'd pop into the shops um, more than once a week, so I'd pick up hummus. But I find that we're getting through more than one tub a week, so it'd um, be helpful to be able to make it. Um, my husband and my eldest daughter are really into olives, so I always buy olives every food shop now. 
So those are garlic stuffed olives and these ones are stuffed with parsley and chilli dressing. So yeah, they look nice. Um, this is a new try, I haven't tried this before. Nush Dairy Free Almond Milk Cheese. Um, I think it's supposed to be like soft cheese. I've, it's got really great reviews, so I'm excited to try that. Got some of the vegan corn ham, some of the dairy free sunflower spread. Got this absolutely massive tub of paper nut almond butter. This is the best almond butter, it's absolutely delicious. And we go through loads of almond butter, so it works out better valued by the big tub. This is actually the big, the second big tub we've bought during lockdown, so that shows you how much um, of that we use. Here is another yogurt. We tried this for the first time last week, and it was really delicious. I've been vegan a while now, so probably forgotten how real yogurt tastes, but this is absolutely yum, and I would say it tastes like yogurt. Also got this. Coconut Collaborative Natural Yogurt. We always get this one. Um, we do sometimes mix it with the uh, vegan chocolate spread. Um, to make a chocolate yogurt. And it's nice with granola and things like that. These are for the kids. Aero yogurts. And these are for my elders who's dairy free. They're Coconut Collaborative again. They're just little pots of chocolate. Like a chocolate mousse. Um, I don't actually eat these. They are nice. But my daughter eats them before I get a chance to basically. Um, boring stuff, I got some dishwasher rinse aid, um, some kids bubble bath and kids shampoo. I got another tub of coconut oil, got a little packet of stuffing. We're having Sunday dinner every Sunday at the moment, so that's for that. And I got some of this metanium nappy rash ointment because ours has run out and this is literally the best stuff for nappy rash. Um, and my, the baby, if he has anything, um, if he eats anything that he's intolerant to, it affects his tummy and his bottom and gets, can get quite a nasty nappy rash. So, um, we bought some of that. Also got some sweet corn. Sweet corn, again, it's one of those foods that seems to have gone out of stock everywhere. So we have been buying it from the corner shop, so I was glad to get some of that today. And then in here, again, this is the coconut club too, I think. These are individual um, yogurts, vegan yogurts. So like the squeezy type. So these are really great for the baby if we're taking out for the day. Um, you can take those. I don't love the whole plastic waste thing, but um, they are really convenient. They're quite expensive. They work out a pound a little pot. So um, we try not to use too many. And um, got some Cheetos for the kids. Some kettle chips, these are mainly for me. And what else have we got here? Potatoes, I'm not sure I showed you those. Um, again, for Sunday dinner and all sorts of meals. And then frozen wise, we've got a little bit. We've got um, the Waitrose Chunky Potato Wedges. These are really nice. Um, this is amazing. This is the Oatly Chocolate Fudge Ice Cream. It tastes it's vegan, it tastes like normal ice cream. It is so yummy. Um, also got strawberries, frozen strawberries, because we I make smoothies every day and I use frozen fruit and these, we've got loads in the freezer, but this is what I was running out of. Um, also got these Green Cuisine frozen sausages. These are vegan, these are really, really nice. It's quite hard to find um, the meat replacement products that have got, that are soya free vegan ones anyway so um these are one that's worth free and then got some veggie sausages for the other kids so that's everything we bought this week i haven't got a meal plan or anything this week um i don't know why i just winged it with this and just bought a few like with a card i tend to buy the stuff that we can't get elsewhere so like the coconut collaborative yogurts and the nush yogurts and stuff um so it's just sort of a top-up shop stuff i knew that we used and we were short of um, but I will start doing um, meal plan videos again. Now we can buy food properly again. Um, I'll start including our meal plan in with as well. But I think from this, I'm probably going to make chili one night. I'm going to make some granola or some flapjacks, probably both. Um, I've got wedges, so I'll have like the sausages and wedges. We've got baked beans upstairs. 
um, got the pesto, so we'll do pesto pasta because we've already got pasta. Obviously, there's a few bits there for Sunday dinner. Um, we order. A, uh, you'll probably notice that there's like no fresh fruit and veg there, and that's because we order all our fresh fruit and veg from our local greengrocers, and he delivers. We were doing that before lockdown, but um, obviously it's been so convenient during lockdown as well that he does that. Um, so we're really grateful, and we still carry on ordering from him. Even though I could put it on my weekly food shop, I just think to support local business, that's what we do. So yeah, that's why we do eat fruit veg, but that's why it's not in the shop. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, do give me a thumbs up. It helps my videos get shown and leave me a comment if you've got any questions or come back and say hi on another video. I'll see you soon.